Welcome to Crossiums. In this chapter, we are going to make an Eternity Ring. So we start creating an outside ring rail as a scheme to know where we are going to place the gems. Select the diameter 10 and modify the size of the other ring to leave it with equal sides. We enable the proportional and select the profile 2. Now we can modify the size, so we let it in 2.4. Next, we will create the Emerson curve. Select outside ring rail and modify the angle to 90 degrees. Now we modify the gem size to 2.5 and the space between gems to 0.1. We confirm. Now we create the Bronx row. We modify the thickness and leave it at 1. We increase the height and reduce the deeper prongs to 0. We will lower the depth to below the ring rail, because it will be cut later. We confirm. Now we create down the bezel. Select the gem and go to the front viewer to modify the depth and the distance with the girdle. We select 0 0.8 and we are going to move the girdle. We are going to reach the ring rail with the desired depth. We can increase the distance to the girdle a little bit. Once here, we increase the depth because later we are going to cut it as we will do with the prongs. We set the depth at 1. I think that that is OK. We go to the perspective, we modify the thickness to 0 0.6 and we will modify the taper bottom to 0 and we will leave the horizontal distance at 0 0.15. Confirm and we will duplicate the under bezel. Now we modify the under bezel. We select the depth to 0 0.8 and increase the distance of the girdle to a desired point. In this case, I will select 0 0.5 and we confirm. Once here, we are going to use the cut ring and select prongs row. We confirm and we right click to repeat the command and this time we select the lower under bezel. Now we can see that the lower bezel and the prongs are completely matched and respect the diameter of the ring. We confirm and now let's choose a ground to see how it will look with the render. We open the material panel and select Black Smooth. So let's see the retraced view. We are also going to add a new feature added in the last update. We can create a fillet of our object in the viewer or make it from the selected object. Remember that this is only for the visualization and we are not modifying the object but our ring will look much cleaner in our render. By the way, if you want to modify the under bezel for a sharp one, you can just modify the under bezel and enable sharp option. Confirm and open the cut ring drop down. 
click on modify and enable the shop option. We confirm. If we wish, we can modify the size of the ring and we will keep the parametric at all times. Thanks for watching, and if you found it useful, don't forget to subscribe. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, and other social networks. See you in the next chapter.